everybody, check this out. The house that love built. Here we go. Yeah. Can you help me? Come on now. You ain't never gotta be alone. Come on by now. It's gonna be all right now. Come on, everybody. At the house that love built It's a place for you It's a place for me It's a safe haven In the house that love built You can rest, you can sleep You can wash, you can eat You can bring your family In the house that love built Everybody, this is your radio bishop. This is the doc in the house. You had Doc's house today. Praise God. And we have our guest, our special guest, producer, songwriter, artist. He's all gospel, y'all. Amen. He, it's no compromise. No compromise. And I tell you, this is my brother. Praise God. Out of Florida. Praise God. So he's on the East Coast right now, and we want to introduce to you the doctor himself, the producer. I'm talking about major producer, Victor Ezel. Hello, my brother. How is everything going? Hey, Bishop Juan. Everything is great. Can't complain, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. I am ecstatic and excited about being here and to share my music with your audience and 
my audience. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we we've been everybody we've been talking back and forth and we've been relating with one another, man, and getting to know one another. And I'm telling you, we have, as he says, we have kindred spirits. Amen. Amen. But Amen. I tell you what, <laughs> I am in, I enjoy every conversation that he and I has. Amen. But the song for some of you that may have missed it, praise God, uh, the, the new CD that's coming out, the single that's coming out. Amen. You Amen. missed it. If you, if you just came on, Praise God. The house that love built. The house that love built. You guys need to check this out. It's coming out real soon. When is it coming out, Doc? Oh, it'll be at, at the, um, towards the, like the beginning of July, pretty much. Everything's hey. coming out. Actually, that's a bonus. That's a bonus track on my single, on my singles. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, are we expecting something else with this package? Oh, we just uh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, the first, the single from the album, the album is called the name um, Matters of the Heart, My Testimony. Mm -hmm. And then the first single, Love Song to God, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And um, the great thing about it is that we have two different versions of Love Song, Love Song to God. Love Song to God is done with a full accompaniment with music. And then I just have an acoustic version of it also no. that'll also be on there with it so it pretty much coming like an ep yeah you know so all right all right yeah. All right, so you guys better look out for this. It's gonna come out. You'll be able to get it to every every major stream. Amen. Spotify, Amazon. You know, you all know where to where to go. Amen. When you want great music, amen. So I'm telling you, this is gonna be awesome. Uh, we're exclusively handling it from here at Radio KBRG, the bridge. Praise God. You've probably been listening to the radio and heard that particular song, the love that house the. <laughs> the house that love built. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so, if, the way you put it, any way you put it, it's still the house that love built. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. So this man, hey, um, how long have you been doing it? You know, writing. Oh, I've been writing now for about oh a long time. <laughs> it's about thirty, almost thirty years. I've been writing. Wow! Wow! Wow, because yeah. I noticed the, the pizzicato strings that you had in there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so he must have been around classical music. Who was, oh, who, yeah. was who was some of your greatest influences? Oh, God, there's so many of them, man. You know, um, Jazz World had George Duke, made me want to play keyboards, whatnot, you oh. know. Um, when it came to orchestration, the Philharmonic Orchestra, oh, my goodness. You know, yeah. um, then when I went to study at school with the Harlem Theater Company, we were, we were around a lot of... Um, to harmonics, um, orchestras, pretty much a lot of orchestrations and, and conductors. And it just stuck with me. Even when I was in high school, I took a music class and we actually didn't play music. We just talked theory and how to put feel into things. But as a kid, um, I actually started to play. Um, well, drums was my first thing I learned how to play. And yeah. then I went to the guitar. But then my mother had a ukulele and also a um a violin and she said oh. play it <laughs> learn to play it and i found out that the violin was just the opposite of the bass the strings backwards you know so right. you know yeah. self-taught sat down and just and just, just did it huh? just, did, just it. did it yeah uh ukulele ukulele <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing, you guys, because in most houses of people of color, you won't find a ukulele. <laughs> you know, but I, I'm wondering how he how he worked that one, you know, uh, because uh, I can't I can't laugh because I had, you know. A squeeze box at my house. My, my, my. <laughs> oh, get out of here! Yeah. An accordion, yeah, an accordion like Urkel. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I don't know, people of color. I don't know why you have a, a accordion in your house. I, I don't know why my mother had an accordion. I, I couldn't tell you why, but she said, "Get on it, just like you did, play." But anyway, enough about me. But I, <laughs> I want to look. Listen, Bishop. When she gave me the ukulele, right? I was standing in her closet, like she pulled it out, and I'm like, "Where'd she get this from?" She said, yeah. "Learn this," and I'm like, "What?" She said, "Learn it," and I'm like, I stood there with this face, like, uh, "Okay." My chin kind of dropped. 
Yeah. But you know what? She said, hey, you can play the guitar. You can play that. I said, okay. Wow. And I went. Wow. And I did my thing. <laughs> Man. Now, I've served some strange instruments to start off in your music <laughs> career with, but the ukulele, I, that, that one you got me with. Hey, I, I thought maybe she was pulled out a guitar, you know, or, or pull out a, you know, a trombone or something like that. But mm -hmm. a ukulele, wow. You know, yeah. so did you finally learn how to play it? I did. I did learn how to play it. Um, it took me a week. Wow. To pick it up. You know, and, um, but the funny thing is, is that at that time, my sister bought an organ home, my oldest sister. Oh. She bought an organ home and um, it was, that was about around Christmas time. I got a, I think I was about maybe, maybe six, five or six years old. Wow. When, when they did that. And um, I actually um, sat there and I watched my sister play Old Lang Syne and I learned how to play Old Lang Syne watching her pretty much. Wow, on the organ. Yeah, on the organ, yeah. So you just had a musical family, huh? Yeah, we did. Wow. You no, know? I mean, brothers, mothers, a singer. My mom used to sing to me, she used to rock me to sleep singing to me. You know? And I remember, and funny thing is, as I got older, I went back to my mom and I said, I remember the song you used to hum to me. And she said, what? You remember that? She said, you weren't nothing but a baby. And I said, yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. That was the tune she sang to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Wow, man! This I, I tell you, uh, Doc Exel, you you you've worked with a lot of different artists. Um, you work you you collaborated with a lot of different people. Uh, and uh, what? Why didn't you just stick stick with that? Just collaborating. What what made you make the transition? Well, at the time, you know what? Um, the Lord was pulling at my heart, and He said to me, "You know what?" I need you to come from the background because a lot of people that I was working with and doing stuff with the Lord was saying, was telling me inside of me, you can sing that song better than them. And I'm like, what? You know, I, and I would dare not dare say that out loud though. But, um, I actually went and, um, I got saved and the Lord said, okay, step out. And when I stepped out, I didn't totally step out. But I got one more collaboration, and that was with um, MC Hammer's artist called mm. Terrence Clark. His name is Parole. His album's called Out on Parole. Mm. And I'll tell you how that happened, um, how I got in touch with him, because I went to, I had gotten saved and went to this big church. And the gentleman that was in the men's chorus, that was helping run the men's chorus, said to me, he says, hey, I invite a lot of guys over to my house on Sundays for dinner. Would you like to come by? And I said, yeah, you know, so I go by there and he's got this platinum album on the wall. And I'm like, who do you know with MC Hammer? He said, my sons, you know, and I'm like, what? He said, yeah, I, you know, I said, I don't know. Maybe I ran into him out there or something. But his brother was there and he says, oh, what's up, man? You know, and I said, hey, what's going on? You know, why you look familiar? I said, I don't know. <laughs> and then we found out, you know, that I've been on a couple of places where they had been. And um, they say, hey, we're working on my brother's album for Hammer's label. You know, you play? I said, yeah, I play bass. But they took me as a joke. <laughs> right. you know, they thought I was just talking. And I went to the studio with them that weekend. And while I was there, I was laying down on the couch and it was doing all the other stuff they needed to do in the studio. Plugged in and asked me to actually um, play to this beat that they had. And when I came up with the bass line right off the top of my head, right then and there, that was a rap. There was no second take. It was wow. just that one take, you know? And um, after that, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do this for me. <laughs> there you go. You know, I'm gonna do this That's for awesome. me. That's awesome. And and then making that transition, uh, moving from from secular to Christian music, uh, gospel music, if you will, uh, I, I also found out you that you are a love song. Yeah, person. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm a help. I guess I'm a helpless romantic. You could call it. <laughs> um, yeah. No. You know. I grew up in a house where everybody was singing, pretty much. I mean, everybody. I look. I grew up singing Michael Jackson. You no, know, the Jackson Five, and not Michael yeah. Jackson, but the Jackson Five itself. And 
My mother used to make me perform every weekend for family members who came over. Right. And when I did not want to do it, she punished me and left me in the room <laughs> uh -huh. until I was ready to do it. <laughs> wow. But, um, wow. but love songs was one of the things that they played in the house. A lot of um, stylistics, a lot of those old groups, you know, but you're, by God, you are. you're the one that I've been waiting for forever. You know, all that seventies and early and late sixties music, you know, that Philly, the Philly sound. Yes, yes. But, but to be honest with you, when I switched over to be, when I became a believer, a Christian, you know, um, I battled. I battled with, okay, can I do this? You know, and I can do this too. You know, but I, I kind of battled with that, and I didn't know who to talk to, or anyone to talk to to tell me, hey, in, in which direction to go. And I was still learning how to pray at that time too, until I could get some guidance. Right. You know, and the Lord guided me to the right person and said, hey, look, you do whatever the Lord tells you to do. You know, he, they, he told me, he says, the Lord wants to use what you have. He don't want you to give it up. That's why he called you, because he gave you the gift in the first place. Right. You know, and I said, OK, then I'm going to use it for his glory. And he says, whatever you do, I'm going to use it for me. So just be led. You know, just be led. Yeah, you know it's a it's it's amazing because a, a, a lot of our artists today, you know, have a background from the church. Yep. And a lot of them went through the same struggles, you know, and 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 I myself included went through the struggle of deciding: Am I compromising? Am I, yes. you know, uh, when I'm collaborating with secular artists, you know, and working with them in studios? I was told. You know, in the church, that you had to make a decision. Yep. You know, and you had to step out, or to come in the church, or stay out in the world. You know, that's a horrible thing to say to somebody. Yeah, but you know? you, but they, but you know what? They don't know any better. I don't think they right. know any better. See, because they were setting their ways pretty much, and they never gave us a chance to grow and have the Lord lead us instead of them leading us. You see. Right. Right. And, and, you know, and, and we knew where our roots are. We know where our roots are, you know, and, and if you listen to a lot of the artists today, you know, they, they always take it back to the root. Yep. You know, they always take it back to church. Yep. You know, and so I, we're not saying, I'm not, you know, advocating that you, you know, you do both. I mean, but if, if that's what you choose to do, that's what you choose to do. Uh, uh, but uh, the church will probably war with you when it comes to doing both. You know, yes. um, a master of doing both was Aretha Franklin. Yes, indeed. You know? yep. <laughs> she was a master of doing both. Uh, Al Green kind of slip and slide. It, it, yeah. I think it, it messed yeah. him up, you know, but uh, uh, who else? There's many other artists that, that you know, that does both. Yes. You know, uh, um, well, I know that, you know, you love the jazz, you love... Yes. Classical, you yes. love, you know, you love love yes. songs, romantic songs, and, and but uh, this song, the love, I mean, the house that love built. What? Where did you get the inspiration? You know what? Um, at the time, I was living in Orlando, and I had my studio built in a closet in my bathroom. <laughs> And I just sat in there and I said, you know what? Um, and I'll tell you the inspiration true behind it was also was that we spent time, my wife was in the hospital. She had our youngest daughter. And what happened was three days after when my baby came out, they said her stomach was bloated. So she had to have an operation three days later. Um, when we were at the hospital, they told my wife, okay, you could go home. My wife was like, I am not leaving my baby. I don't want to leave my baby. So one of the ladies came, one of the nurses came and said, there's a McDonald, Ronald McDonald house over there that you can stay at pretty much, you know, yeah. for free. And I was like, for real? And she said, yes. So they sent us over there and we signed the papers and we were in. And I saw all the love that they gave and all the support that they gave. And I said, oh, how do I get back? You know, they asked for a donation. I didn't have much to give. So I said, 
you know what? I might not be able to give you a whole lot of money, but I can give you a song that can raise you some. And, and that's what happened. Um, I went home and I just sat down and, you know, I came up, I actually came up with the bass line first, you know. Right. You know, and it hit me. I sat down, I planned a six string, and I said, boom, doom, 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 doom. And I'm like, oh, wow. I said, I like that. And then the melody just came to me. In the house, the love bill, you're more than welcome to stay as you need. And I just worked around that. I just wow. worked around that. Wow. You know? Well, what we're going to do, we're going to listen to the house that love built. That's Victor Ezel. But Bishop, let me let everybody know too. I'm not the only one singing on there. Who's that's singing me on there? That's my family in the background. Your wife, my wife and daughters. Yeah, my wife and daughters. Yeah. What? Yes. Oh man. My family. Oh, my family. Singing. Hey, this is a family album. I mean, a family yeah. single. You guys. Yeah. Check this out. Hey, man. It is a Father's Day treat right here. Hey, so hey, what we're gonna do? We're gonna play this song, and we're gonna let you guys hear. The Ezel family <laughs> singing the house, not that Jack built, but that love. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Yeah. Can you help me? Come on now. You ain't never gotta be alone. Come on by now. It's gonna be all right now. Come on, everybody. Ooh, 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 ooh. At the house, the love is. It's a place for you. It's a place for me. It's the same baby. In the house, that love them. You can rest. You can sleep. You can wash. You can eat. You can bring your family. In the house.
play. <laughs> pray, pray. <laughs> we can play this over and over again. You know, like the like the DJs of old used to do. We gonna yes. keep playing it and playing it till you got till it sinks in. Praise God. This is the house that love built. Amen. I, I want to say, man. I, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming next down the down the pipe. I really do. I want to see what's coming next. Hey, Amen. There's so many of us is listening to it on Facebook and and Instagram, and we're we're all over the place right now, y'all. Hey, Amen. My 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 gamers, stop playing the game for a second. Listen to what's happening here. This is the house that love built. You guys need to check this out. And when it comes out, I need you guys to go and get it, including my grandson that keeps popping in. But I, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> it's Doc's house, y'all. It That's right. Can happen, you know, it. Doc's house. Okay, That's but th- th- this is not, you know, this KBRG Studios. You at my house, Amen. Amen. This is Doc's house, Amen. So we're just having fun right here in the studio. But I just want to tell you that I'm so glad that uh, I was introduced to to uh, Doctor Doc Doctor Ezel. I was introduced to Dr. Ezell by, by Pastor Smith. Some of you guys know her on Facebook as Paulette Smith. Amen. And she said, Bishop, you need to hear this guy. You need to hear this man. She said, I was on the phone with him, and he broke out in a song. <laughs> she said, the anointing was so heavy. You know, in that song, I said, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, okay, I'm cool, y'all, you know, I'm just like, yeah, all right, yeah, all right, okay, sis, yeah, just hit, hit give me his number, you know, I, we, we'll, I'll hit him up, you know, he has this, uh, he has a uh, CD coming out, and blah, 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 and I said, yeah, okay, all right, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> you know? So uh, I'm not, you know, I get excited after I hear the songs and everything, y'all. You know, I, I'm not, not that I'm dissing anyone. You know, I, I get so many, so I, we get hundreds of CDs is, and songs is presented to us. You know, we can't play them all. We try. You know, some of them are not radio ready so you gotta understand that it has to be radio ready it has to be packaged well in order for us to push it for you amen but this one i had to push because i tell you it's ready it's ready to go and so i thank god all right now listen for those of you out there that this gentleman is a producer songwriter amen producer songwriter artist so if you are struggling with your project you can hit him up and i'm gonna let him go ahead and tell you how to get in touch with him i can be reached on facebook i have a um a like page and all my information is there but you can also see it behind me here right here my know high tone productions you can give me a high tone produ- victor Ezel at high tone productions.com okay and that's with a dash in between the high the T O N E productions.com. Okay, or you can reach me at 786 399 4623. Okay, that's 786 399 4623. Yeah, yeah. So, all of my all of my people out there, amen. Uh, my one of my another producer, another manager, songwriter just popped in the room, y'all. Amen. My man. Praise God, my Mr. President himself, <laughs> Dr. Thomas Cox, is in the house this morning, this evening, this afternoon. We want to give a shout out to him. Michael Hendricks is in the house. Hey, man, giving a shout out to him. Praise God. Amen. And, 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 That's man, San Jose. coming in here. What's going on? Y'all must like this song. Hey, Amen. <laughs> so, listen, we want you go, we want you all. To go ahead and hit this up It's coming out in July Amen This is coming out in July So we want you guys to go ahead It's going to be a package deal You're going to get I'm not going to even get into telling you What's going to be on there I believe it's going to be a surprise EP that's coming out So I want you guys to remember this name Victor Ezel Remember this name Victor Ezel 
Amen. And so, um, all you all, all you artists out there who is looking for music, who is looking for somebody to go ahead and and put that music to your to your writing vision, praise God. This is the man that you need to talk to. This is the man you need to see. All right, don't come see me. I'm gonna write <laughs> Mary had a little lamb to everything y'all sing. I'm gonna play Mary had the Jesus song died. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> Bishop, don't, don't believe Bishop, y'all. This guy can play a keyboard. He can play a mean keyboard. And he also plays trumpet. So. so if you're looking for me to write your song, and it, all your songs going to sound alike. Because I'm going to put this the, the song, Mary Had a Little Lamb, to every line, all your lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the man, the super producer himself. Praise God. Dr. Victor Ezel. Praise God. You guys need to hit him up. He's worked with a lot of artists. I'm telling you, he's worked with some people. Amen. And and collaborated with many great artists and songwriters and producers out there. Praise God. And we're not we're not just saying this. This is the truth, y'all. This is this is the real deal. Praise God. This is this is not an up and coming, just been around, you just hadn't seen him. <laughs> you just haven't seen him get around amen so uh if i threw if i name dropped to you would say nah really yes but we're not gonna name drop but uh you know it he, we're not gonna name drop fred hammond we're not gonna name drop the commission we're not gonna name drop we're not gonna do that but what we are gonna say <laughs> to you you need to get this song Get ready for this song and and uh, several others that's coming out. He's going to tell you which ones is going to be coming along with uh, the house that love built. Amen. On this next project, on this great project that he's that he's completing. Amen. So uh, we're going to turn it right back over to him and, and to Dr. Ezell, and he's going to let you know what's coming next. OK, so as everyone knows, um, the house that love built is it's going, it's going to be a bonus track on my EP with Love Song to God, with two versions of Long Song to God, one full accompaniment with music, the other one is acoustic. Okay, and okay. you'll have, you'll also have that song, but the next album, well, the next song from the album is another song that I have that my wife and I wrote together called, um, uh -oh. I Need a Miracle. <laughs> you know, I pause because I Need a Miracle. Um, <laughs> I, I Need a Miracle is a song that, um, you know, being out in the mission fields, you know, sometimes things get rough and tough. Yeah, you know? And when that happens, you know, um, well, my wife says she was in the bathroom and she just began to sing, I need a miracle, you know, and she came out and she told me, uh, we were living in Detroit at the time. Mm. So I went downstairs into my and to the basement, to my studio. And I just, I just went down there and I just, I just laid the track real quick, you know, um, let, well, the idea down for it anyway. And right. um, then I began to write more to it because it was a personal family thing. Not just what we were going through, but just as a family, we were all going through it, you know. So I'm hoping that, you know, it'll touch the hearts of the people. It's real. It's real. It's about real life, people. Um, ministry is not easy. No, it really isn't. And a lot of people think because you're in ministry that you're rich. <laughs> Yeah. That's the furthest thing from the truth. Yeah. You know? But um, a lot of times we just have to wait on God, you know, and be led by God yeah. to make sure that, you know, when he sends us that we go and that when he sends us that we don't still sit there because we can miss our blessings if we don't be obedient. And we actually um, got the song out. And every time I let somebody hear that song, oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. I mean, there was never a dry eye, you know, never a dry eye, Bishop. Oh, Never done. Wow. And that's the one, I Need a Miracle? Yes. Wow. Yes. See, I didn't get that one, y'all. I'm not yet. I haven't got that <laughs> one yet. <laughs> I'm going to stop there. <laughs> oh, man. See that? Isn't that something? I'm going to get you all set up for it. All right. <laughs>
awesome. I need a miracle. I need a touch from you. I need to know, Lord, that you're within my reach. There's not a time that I don't feel your warm embrace. I need a miracle, oh Lord, I need it now. That's the chorus. Oh, wow. You guys need a miracle? <laughs> <laughs> I need a miracle. Amen. And you know what? God is already working the miracle for you. He's already doing it for you. Amen. See, that's 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 my key to go to preaching, but I'm not going to do that. I'm getting ready. <laughs> Come on, let's go to church. <laughs> yeah. You know, I just I I thank God for you, uh Dr. Ezel. I I I really do because we need to we need music that would reach the heart. We need anointed music. I just don't want to just go to a uh, to a gospel song that's going to make me just dance. Right. You know, I need a song that's going to make me uh, place me in the presence of God, Amen. where I I know that I'm right there with Him and He's with me, and then where He's ministering to me. I'm, I'm uh, you know, it's nothing wrong with groove getting you getting, getting your praise on and, right. and groove. Whatever the case, however you guys want to call it, whatever you want to call it, you know, it's, I'm not being negative or anything of that nature. But what I'm trying to uh, uh, say here is that we need music that will bring us into the presence yes. of God, you know, to remind us that he's always there. Amen. To remind us that he cares and he loves and he's compassionate towards us and merciful as well, you know, and that love supersedes it all, you know. And so I, I just say to you, to each and every one of you, this is the time to get ready for this new for not a, for this new work that's coming out, the Ezel family is coming, you know, with, with some great music that's going to bring you into the presence of God. Amen. God sent it from heaven, praise God, and allowed these lips of clay to sing it. Praise God. Allow this man, this young man to produce it. Amen. And we allowed us and we are honored to be able to play it and broadcast it throughout the world. So I, I tell you, man, I am so honored to to be with you on this platform. Amen. So I, I just want, I don't know what to say, man. You and know, I, and I, I say thank you. you know, <laughs> I say thank you for having me on. You know, and, I, and I'll share something else with you that got me to where I am. You know, um, when my daughter was in the NICU. She was in the NICU in the hospital for six weeks. Hmm. When I went to that NICU, there were a whole bunch of babies up in there. Mm -hmm. You know, some were expected to live and some weren't. Right. But the Lord placed in my heart to walk around that whole place and just pray over every child in there, every child. While my wife held our daughter and her sister looked over her and played with her while she was, you know, had tubes all in her. And I said, Lord, bring my child through this. Mm. Please bring my child through this and I'll serve you with all my heart, my soul and my mind with everything that I have. And I'll keep my promise. I won't sell you out for a buck. <laughs> you know, and, yeah. um, he's been keeping us ever since. You know, wow. got him. You know, he's 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 given me new creativity. The whole works. You know, I mean, the music is just that I'm doing. It's just not like gospel music, pretty much, but it's more like cinematic music. The whole yeah. works. The whole works. You know, I've been thankful, really thankful. I'm the type of guy that loves strings. I love strings and orchestral works, you know, um, <clears throat> coming up in college, you know, I always loved the classical music. I always loved classical music, you know, um, being with being in, in, in the, in the junior Philharmonic orchestra of, of Los Angeles of California, they call it, uh, being able to, to play all of these different works, you know, and to hear that how magnificent, and, and how, I mean, these guys were writers. Yes. 
I mean, yes. they wrote for every instrument. Yes. Yes. I mean, that's amazing, you know. And you were among the elite, too. Yeah. You know? The chance to sit around that because, you know, I had to sit around a bunch of great musicians before I became what I became, you know. Yeah. And, and I, I tell everybody, if you're going to be great in what you do, sit around somebody who's been doing it for a long time and learn from the masters. Yes. You know? Learn from the yes. masters. You know, the best. I mean, you know, uh, <clears throat> today we have technology and we have computers and everything yeah. and it makes it a lot easier for us to, to, uh, uh, print songs, you know, and 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 notate songs. Right. And, but to back then, you had to write it in, you yep. know, like we did in our music theory courses. You know, we had to everything had to be written in. Okay, uh, this is the strings. What they're going to be doing. This is the bass. What he's going. To, it's going to be doing piano. You know, uh, trumpet, trombone, French horn, flute, and so forth and so on. And then you had to write it all out. Yes. Yeah. And then present the work in. You know, <laughs> and I was saying, transcribing all of that, man. Yes. That's work. Yes. You know? And you, you know, I sat under a brother named Kenneth. And it was Kenneth St. Bernard. And this brother could sit down and write. He would write a whole orchestration with not an instrument in front of him. Exactly. Not an instrument in front of him. I looked at that and I said, oh, wow. You know, I knew nothing about theory at the time, though. But I could pick up anything up by ear. And he says, you know what? It'll make you a better musician if you learned. And you know what? I was over at his house every Sunday. <laughs> every Sunday. And I can't tell you this. The stuff that, well, I could tell you about all the great things that I've learned, you know, about him and his family. He's had a family of musicians also. His dad, a musician, um, coming from um, Grenada, you know, mm -hmm. mom from Grenada and lived in, from Trinidad. So, I mean, and they had every musician that was out there, you know, coming to the United States to visit them. You know? Right. So, yeah. Wow. I... I, you know what? Like I said, there's a lot of people that uh, don't understand. It takes a lot to do this, uh, yes. to really write and and do it that way. But like like today, it's made it's real easy now. Uh, you play a melody, and then you get a program software. <laughs> yeah, and you add everything else to it. You know, but I thank God for these these musicians and these songwriters that I, that we haven't been able to get under that actually continue to transcribe to show us, right, right. you know, this is the root. This is the foundation. Right. You know, I'd like to see us go back to that. Really. You know, I'd like to see us go back to saying, Hey man, uh, how come you put that D flat over there? Why didn't you put B flat right, right. there? You know, and so <laughs> and you know, you're gonna sometimes you look at it and say that passing that might be a passing note, you know, that going to that Could D be. flat, you know, that passing yeah. note. Hey, be like, hey, you know, you know, and to get you to that next point, you know, that step, right. a half step. But I, I always tell uh, people that are actually using the computers, you know, not just learn your craft, but learn how to play your instrument. Exactly, because Master. there's nothing. Not, I mean, it would help you so much better when it comes to composing your songs, okay? But um, please just don't be computer programmers. <laughs> the computers yeah. help us. Yes, the computers yes, help it us, but learn your craft. You have to. You know? Yeah, and it, it would be a lot easier when you're working with musicians, yes. you know, so you can kind of call it out. You know, no, do, no, bro, that's an A, you right. know? You know, <laughs> so... Right. You know, that's that A over E, you know, so right. let's do that. You know, but a lot of people, if you call out, you know, A, you know, over E, B, you know, C, they're like, what? Yeah, that's the A over E. That's the A over E. Yeah. No? <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it, it, it. That's, I've been around jazz musicians, so you know you hear a lot, right. you know, and so uh, you have to do turnarounds. You have to know where, right. 
where where that thing transcends and you know you you need to know these things as musicians yeah. and uh what in the future what doc uh dr ezel and i are going to do we're going to talk about that we're going to go into music theory we're going to go into things that some things that you should know uh the business itself you yes. know a lot of times we we know we're good at artists we're great artists but we don't know the business the business that's correct yep i've been there i've been there i've been stuck up yeah. in some of that stuff and you know and it makes you shy away back up because you know the people that you think are there to help you are just really there to, to make money off of you and they're not going to teach you the business you got to come in and know the business you have to you know, know it yourself no. yes yes you have to know it and uh and we don't mind sharing the the I don't mind sharing a little that I know and I don't mind either. And a lot that Dr. Ezel knows. <laughs> <laughs> hey look, you know what? And uh, you know what? I got a buddy there. He's Michael, Michael Hendricks. He lives yeah. in San Jose. We talk about it all the time. Wow. All the time. We had to get him in, man. We had to get him joining in on this. We need to really have a, a symposium where we can come together and as mu as musicians, songwriters, right. producers, and and sit down. And uh, and as another uh, songwriter, producer, and musician, uh, Doctor uh, <clears throat> Doctor Thomas is here. Hey, Amen. And get everybody in there. Cox, Doctor Cox, and we'll just sit down and talk about it because Doctor Cox is also not only that he's a manager of, of of groups, and and so he knows the business. Amen. You know, and so sometimes we can share these things uh with you we probably couldn't share everything with you but we can kind of give you some highlights of what you need to what you may need to want to uh, no, investigate you, yeah. you know get a knowledge yeah. do your research do your yeah. own research for yourself you know there's plenty of books out there and the one book that i would recommend is a book by kashif you know everything you better know about the music business you know kashif. and I'm, yeah and i'm gonna tell you kashif was a mentor to me because i met him at a young age Right. You, know, you know, he grew up in Brooklyn also, pretty much. Wow. You know, and you know who else used to come there also? Come hmm. to Brooklyn and do these seminars for us? James M. Toomey. Really? Yeah. He used to be at a um, studio, right, well, not too far from my house where we lived at in uh, Best Eye, Brooklyn, pretty much. Hmm. And he was there pretty much like twice a month, you know, just yeah. teaching us the business. You guys ever heard of Jimmy Smith, organist? I've heard of Jimmy. Old, old school. Yeah. Jimmy came to a to to a school that I was uh, uh instructing in and just sat in on 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 the request of a friend of mine and Jimmy came in and got on the organ man and uh, and I said how do you do it he, uh, they asked how do you do it Jimmy you have to know the theory yep you have to know the circle of fifths yep you have to know this you know you have to know where you're going you have to know where you're where you're going to begin. You have to know where you're going to end. Yep. He said, "But you have to go in the circle. It's a circle, you yeah. know." And I'm saying, "Wow, wow, you know." Even though yeah. I knew that, you know, <laughs> just coming from a a man like him, you know. Uh, but I I still, like I said, I have the honor uh, honor of meeting and collaborating with super producer Victor Ezel. Praise God. Amen. And guess what, y'all? He's going to do a jingle for the radio station. Yes. Amen. yes. It's coming. Amen. It's going to be hot. You guys yes. got to get ready. I'm going to play it all the time. Y'all going to get tired of it. I was going to play it every two or three minutes. I don't, you know, but from what, I'm, from, from what I'm hearing about the, the, um, the jingle, pretty much, is that it's good. It's really good, and I don't think anybody will get tired of hearing it, pretty much, because I've really got an upbeat going to it, pretty much. Um, I got some some funky bass going up in there, you know, and I'm, I, I'm bringing a little mellowness in there also. So, you know, all right. I can't wait to, I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to hear it. Hey, Amen. We don't want to hold y'all too long, but I got to play the song one more time for you guys to hear it. Hey, Amen. And are you, wait, maybe I got to cue it up. Hey, Amen. So I want you guys to listen in the Ezel family. Praise God with Dr. Ezel. And they are doing the house that love built. Here we go. Yeah. Can you help me? Come on now. You ain't never gotta be alone. Come on by now. It's gonna be alright now. Come on, everybody. Ooh. 
Это Praise God for being with you once again. This is Doc's house, and we're just we're just kicking it around with my my good friend, my brother. Praise God, Doc Ezel. Amen. And we thank God for those of you who have tuned in about radio. Praise God that's been listening in with us, uh, and just going ahead and getting your groove on. Amen. <laughs> that song had a nice groove to it, didn't it, y'all? Thank you. Amen. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> If you didn't get, you know what? You go to McDonald, uh, Ronald McDonald's house, you're going to get healed because you're going to be like, oh, <laughs> Amen. <all right." laughs> Amen. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> So I thank God for you, man. We, uh, we're going to have to get on out of here, but I tell you what, uh, let the people know how to get in touch with you hey, and let them know, you know, give them all the particulars. Hey everyone, I'm on Instagram. It's Victor Hightone. Ezel, that's H I hyphen T O N E. That's my tag. Okay. Everybody knows me as High Tone Ezel. That's Instagram, Victor High Tone Ezel. I'm also known as Victor Ezel on Facebook. I have a personal page and I also have a like page, which is my production company like page. 
So you can look me up there. And if you like what you hear, please just hit a thumbs up so we can reach more people. Please. We got a new actual um, YouTube page coming also. Okay. We'll be actually talking about music and actually, you know, just trying to inspire everyone to use the gifts that God has given them. So please hit me up. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. <laughs> Amen. On the next episode and the next interview that we do, uh, we're going to open up the phone line so you guys can call in if you want to talk directly to uh, Dr. Ezel. Amen. It'll be all good because what we're going to do, we're going to open it up and let you shoot at it and ask questions and, you know, go ahead and set up your record deal with, with the super producer himself. Amen. So, I tell you what, we're going to have to get out of here, but I want to let you know, tune in, keep it locked at RadioKBRG.com. Hey, man, your favorite gospel, your number one stellar award gospel radio station in the nation. We are worldwide, y'all. Hey, man, so for this all my brothers and sisters that are listening around the world, I just want to say good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you. For my folk, my people up in Russia, my people in North and South Korea, my people in Afghanistan and Sudan, my people over there in Dubai, and my folk over there and my family that's down there in the Philippines, I just want to say, and Japan, China, Red China, we just want to let you know, we love you, man. May God bless you. See you next time. Hey, Bishop, right man. here. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Yes, sir. What you want to ask me? Can we can we go out on um, Love Song to God, the acoustic version? Is that okay? That's fine. If I can find it. I got you. <laughs> I got you from this end, if you like, sir. You got me from that end? Let's yeah. see what we got. Okay.
of my troubles. You're my heart in the midst of this bubble. Call Super producer himself coming in and taking time out with us, spend a little time here at Doc's house. And I want to let every one of you know that we love you, we care about you. Hey, don't don't forget to hit us up. Hit Doc up. All right. Hit Dr. Ezell up uh, at Facebook.com. You know, high tone productions. Praise God. High tone productions at, at gmail.com. Praise God. That's high tone productions at gmail.com. Also, you can hit him up at 786. 786- Three nine nine four six two three. That's seven eight six three nine nine four six two three. Hey, you looking for a super producer? This the man to see. Amen. So also don't forget, get the song. When it comes out, we're gonna be we're gonna be come on again and we're gonna tell you where to get it, okay? So that you can go ahead and support the man of God. And it's you know what? Because he's a great writer. He loves God. Praise God. He's a family man. He loves his family. Praise God. And he loves the family of God. Amen. That's plus, man. That's Amen. a plus. All right. <laughs> so may God bless you. Thank you, Doc. We, we appreciate you. Praise God. And everybody on Facebook, everybody thank on social you. media, thank we you. thank you. Thank, thank you, you for stopping Warren. in. And, oh, you're welcome. I thank Amen. you because you know what? I thank you for giving me the avenue to reach people through Facebook. Thank you so much for the invite. I appreciate you. I love you, brother. And I look forward to greater works for us in the future. Amen. We're looking forward as well. Amen. So all of my, all of my people out there on radio and, and my, my, my prayer warriors say in radio land, that's an old school term. I bet. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but all of you guys that listen to us on the digital radio side, we want to say thank you for listening in and taking time out, you know, of your schedules to listen in to the, the, the doc's house. And this is new. For some of you, praise God, because you know I don't normally come out that often, but I had to come out to talk to my brother. Amen. So we're going to keep doing this, and uh, we're going to see if we can catch someone like Charlie Wilson. We're going to grab Charlie Wilson, and we're going to catch him by the by the hand and say, Charlie, come on up and talk to myself and, and Dr. Ezell, so we want to see what you're doing in the future. Yeah. We're going to catch up with Snoop, We gotta, and we're going to bring all those guys in, and we're going to sit down and talk with him. Amen. Amen. And, um, so you guys get ready for that. I'm serious. Y'all think I'm playing. All right. And uh, also, you know, our next artist... Uh, that we're gonna probably we're gonna we're negotiating to bring in Anita Wilson. She's gonna be coming over here to Doc's house and gonna visiting with us and talking to her because she has a new one that's out. Praise God, Kiki. We're gonna get we we we're coming for you, Kiki. <laughs> so <laughs> get ready for to visit Doc's house. God bless you. We gotta go, y'all. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.